Good morning. This is Artie the Vintage Stitcher and I am so happy that you are here with me this morning. Let's have a little chit chat. <laughs> Yay! It is a Monday, May 2nd. I think that's considered May Day, isn't it? May 2nd is May Day. Um, it's not May 1st. I know that. I think May 2nd is considered like May Day or uh, like Maypole Day or something. Something to that effect. I, I don't remember. Anyway, so the weekend was pretty exciting. Um, I showed a video yesterday. I hope you enjoyed the closet clean out. Tomorrow's video is going to be, I'm, I start like organizing it. So I kind of show a vlog style video of me organizing throughout the day. And there's more to come. Um, this is not just a one day project. I thought, oh, I'm just going to clean up these bins and reorganize and purge a little bit. It's all going to be great. <laughs> no, it didn't work like that. So much of my weekend was reorganizing. I have other spots in the house now that, you know, things needed to be put away in other places because I have... I have things put in other places in the house and they needed to be put there. Well, those spots are getting tight now too. So I need to purge some of that stuff out of that area. So it, it it's gonna be it's gonna be a while. This is gonna be a process, and that's all right. I, I'm okay with that process. Um today I'm going to be going through the D stash craft stuff so that I can kind of get that organized. I'm hoping to have that video up for you guys really soon. I would really love to know your opinion on dates and times that you would think um, would be a great time to view that video. Um, it's going to be pre-recorded because there's no way I can do a live and take notes and keep everything straight by myself. Um, so it's going to be pre-recorded and then I think you guys can email me with my with your orders and we're gonna have to figure out some sort of cycle from there um but i'm almost thinking like a thursday evening um a thursday evening a friday morning or a saturday morning i i'm not sure you guys let me know what you think would be best um i know there's other floss tubes and other um other people who record their their lives and their big videos on certain times and I don't want to like try and compete with that um there's room enough for everybody and um we can all be successful in this so let me know what you think would be a great time um you're gonna hear the washer and dryer <laughs> Hubby fixed the dryer yesterday, so I am in a mad rush to get laundry done. So you are going to hear the washer and dryer in the background. All right. So aside from cleaning and organizing, I did get some work done. Let's dive into that. Um, I worked yesterday about 3 o'clock. My husband said, I'm calling it a day. My butt is finding a recliner, and that is where it's going to be. And you know what? I did the same thing. About 3.30, I did have to get up and kind of make dinner. But about 3, 3.30, we were just kind of hunkered down in our chair. It was pouring rain here. And I thought, I'm going to sit down and just stitch. Just going to stitch. Because I did not get a whole lot of stitching time this weekend. So I really put some time in on my Quaker Christmas. This is my goal to get this finished this month. That is my goal. This is a large piece. I've been working on it for a long time. I did take a break on it, but I've been working on it. I started it June 1st of last year. I want it done. Um, and once I get going on it, I get a rhythm and I get moving on it, I'm okay. So I did put in a few hours on this yesterday. I'm going to move this live needle here. Oh, it's in a stitch. I'm not going to take it out of the hoop. I'm just going to show you where I worked. So this is where I'm at. And I had part of this done yesterday. You know, I was to this point. So I finished this whole motif and then um, I finished these down here and then I came, I'm coming back up here and I'm working this way. I'm gonna work the bottom row. I work the bottom row from this point 
over this way so that everything matches. I want to make sure that um, that line matches up. So I will come back. I will work this way and then down and then back over um, so that I know that that lines up perfectly with that. My luck, if I started over here and lined it up, it would be like one stitch off and it would be awful. It, something would be go wrong. So <laughs> the thing I love about these Quaker pieces is you can line things up in there you can, as long as your edges are lined up, you can, you can fudge a little. There's space. There's space in there where you can go, oh, that's off a stitch. That's not a big deal. You know, and then just pick a new base where you know, okay, this is, this is perfect. This is where it's supposed to be. And then like farm off from that. But, um, there, this is riddled with mistakes. It, it's not perfect. Each motif probably has at least one mistake in it and stuff like that. But I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. A lot of people ask me about the May 21st, 2021. That is my anniversary date. So my anniversary day is coming up soon. Hubby and I will probably be taking a small vacation this year um, and going and doing something kind of fun for that. So... We're pretty close to a finish. This is a big goal that for this month. So you're gonna see a lot this of this in the next coming weeks, okay? And then I did work on, let's see here, get out the plastic. Yield Crow a little bit. And I'm really close to a finish on this one too. Um, let me get these, I have live strings all over the place. <laughs> So I'm really close to a finish on this one too. I just have to do my second initial and then the crow and the pumpkin here. The crow and the pumpkin here. And then a little bit of back stitching and specialty stitches. And then this one will be done. So that's where I'm at on this. So that is pretty much all the stitching I worked on this weekend. Um, my husband is on long shifts this week, so I will have some extra stitching time, simply because like today, being Monday, I babysit, but I'm gonna get the rest of the house cleaning done. I'm gonna get some meals made and packaged up. After today, I really won't have to cook dinners because he's gonna be working until seven, eight o'clock at night all week. So he'll come home and just take like a, a leftover out of the fridge, eat dinner, and um, go to bed. It's gonna be a really long, long week for him. So I will have some extra stitching time this week and I'm hoping to, to really work on some of my other whips too. I wanna to get back to the um, bloom, where it's plant, bloom Where You're Planted. I wanna get that back on my morning rotation and things like that. Um, okay, but I did get some finishing done this week, weekend, some customer finishing. So I'm gonna show you those. <clears throat> I am starting with this really cute pillow that I did. This long pillow. Look at how sweet this is. When this customer sent me this one, this fabric just screamed out to me. I was like, that is the fabric for this pillow. Now I do have to finish up. I have to cover up this little back on this. And then it will be ready to be shipped out. But I wanted a nice long pillow for this. I thought it was cute super super cute I loved these colors it was so different from what I normally work with um, so it was fun to do all right coffee up everyone see my new coffee up t-shirt let me see if I can get it in there coffee up remember they come in all sorts of colors ah, I had to get a purple one for summer um and then she had this really sweet little ornament how cute is that little flat ornament and I did it just a little vintage stripe on the back very basic very plain little rickrack around the edges to cover up that um, that glued area just a very a very basic super cute this was fun circles are not hard circles are not hard I will have to do a tutorial on cir circles because they are not hard really 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 I promise um, and she had this super cute stocking. Is she a Halloween stocking? So I did this stocking. The inside is just a black dot. 
and the back is this cute little Halloween print I had. How adorable is that? So this one was fun. This was a fun one to make. Cute little stocking. Then, a lot of you have been asking for this. I am gonna do a tutorial on it, I promise. I will get to it. A biscornio. These are not as hard as you think they are. They are very, very easy to make, but they are hand stitched. There's no way of doing it on the machine, so there's no cheating. They are hand stitched. So for all you hand stitchers out there, you're gonna love doing a finish like this, okay? They are very, very easy. This one happened to be like a little um, Thanksgiving one. So a little green button on the front and a matching green button on the back. These are super easy. So I will be doing a tutorial on this too. Um, they're, they're, they're a lot of fun. They really are a lot of fun to make, all right? So hand stitchers, this is for you. We're gonna do one of those soon. And then this is a little hands-on design and it's a set <clears throat> and it's called Stitching by the Sea is where I long to be. And this is the little basket. It's a basket pin cushion set. So this is the little basket. Her stitching is perfect and immaculate. So hopefully I, the finishing I did, did it justice. Um, so this is the little basket that fit with it. And then this is the little pin cushion that rests just inside of it, like this. So, this is the little pin cushion. This too is not that all that hard to make these little pin cushions. These though are hand stitched. This was, this was also hand stitched, all hand stitched, but we, you can do some of it on the machine. You could do the little edges on the machine, but it just worked out better because we were, I was lining up the stitching. You needed to line up stitching so that it all kind of looked perfect. Same thing with this. So you're lining up the stitching so it all goes around nice and even. So, and then there's a cute little bottom on it, which I, oops, I put my little 2022 charm on there. So how cute is that? The little sand dollars. <clears throat> so hopefully this customer will love her finishes. I will be contacting her today or tomorrow with an invoice and they will be getting shipped out. So I did get those done in the midst of all of this. Um, the other thing I'm going to be doing is I am going to be going through like, it's not quite a whip parade, it's more of a projects and process parade um, because they're not all cross stitch projects, so they're not all whips. But everything that I pulled out of the closet and all the projects that I need to get done or want to get done, and they're in order of priority, I'm going to be going through all of that with you guys. Um, here in the future because my table over there that I showed you and my decluttering is full is full um and I gotta get going I have I have a goal for me we've got to get that area cleaned out for the long arm and gotta get going all right so that's not all the eye candy I have for you I got mail from Sharon she sent me this lovely card and a package of patterns. And some are gonna be for giveaways and some are gonna be for me to stitch and then give away. <laughs> See, that's the problem. All of us stitchers were hoarders. So we, we just cannot, cannot give it up. <laughs> it's so hard, it's so hard. But Sharon, thank you, thank you very much. Um, it was so much fun to sit down, open the mail, and look through all the, the presents and the gifts and the charts and the fun stuff and go, ooh, ah, uh, and wanna look through it. So I'm gonna show you what she sent. She sent this cute little Bent Creek October curls. How cute is that? These are such fun little quick stitches. I love that. She sent a You and I Friends Primitive Moon. How cute, how sweet is that? Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully it's not too blurred. Another You and I Friends Black Cat. This is very primitive. Very, very primitive. Very cute. Hands-on design 
the bottle and brush tree farm. Now this is another really quick, quick stitch. It's going to take next to nothing. I remember seeing this what, last year, the year before, and I kept thinking, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. And it was one of those that I kind of had in the back of my mind, you know, when we're out shopping and out and about, if I see it, I'll pick it up. That I could support local um, needlework stores with, and I never really came across it, and it just kind of fell off the fell off the list. It wasn't anything I was going to special order, but I kind of have I have a wish list of things that I will special order, and then I have a, a wish list of things that, when we're out traveling and we stop at a, a no, local needlework store, that if I come across, I like to purchase something. If I walk through a door of a small business. I, this is a personal feeling of mine because I own a small business. I feel I need to purchase something. If I walk through their door, I feel I need to purchase something, even if it's small. If I've taken up their time, their customer service, their whatever. So I always have a like a little mental list or a list in my purse of things that I would buy if I come across them. And I usually do. And actually she sent two of these. So one's going to be a giveaway. One's going to be for me to stitch. And then I will give away the second one. So this will probably be in the um, Christmas in July. Big plans for Christmas in July this year. And I'm starting much earlier and getting ready. Um, the Margaret and Sherry collection. Cute cats. And I know you guys are all, a lot of you are cat people. And I love cats. I'm just not going to stitch cats. So this will go in the giveaway pile. I love it. They're super cute. We will find a good home for this. So, um, Brenda Gervais, a cup of Christmas cheer. This was one too, was on the back of my mind for shopping. How cute is that? Um, an M design sun needle roll. Sun needle roll. And if you watch my video tomorrow, um, you're going to see something to this effect that I found in my closet that I forgot I even had. I forgot I even had. And then stay tuned because I, I've got to, I've got to put them out. So she sent the, <clears throat> the sun and the moon. So how sweet is that? How cute are those? I was a needle roll fanatic when these first came out, like in the early 2000s. Yeah, I did a lot of needle rolls. So stay tuned into tomorrow's video. I'm telling you, you're gonna be amazed. <clears throat> this Teresa Cougat Country Santa, I've already stitched this. This is like one of my absolute favorite Santas to pull out. Um, I love, love, loved this Santa. It was a joy to stitch, it's a lot of filling, but you know what? It was an absolute joy to stitch. Um, I look at her patterns and I go, oh, that's a lot of filling. But you know what? It goes really fast and they're a lot of fun. They're great. Um, they're great Christmas stitches when you just want to fall into a routine and watch a movie and just not have to think about think about counting. You can kind of well, I did mine in a solid red. I did not do mine. I don't think I did mine. Maybe I did. I can't remember. In the variegated. I can't remember. But you can, if you're going to do it in the solid red, you can outline and just fill in. Or you could just get in a rhythm and just sew and sew and just stitch and stitch and stitch and stitch and stitch. And before you know it, an hour and a half later, you have the whole fill in done. It doesn't take long. So um, this one I love her patterns. I love her patterns. I have a couple of them on my wish list for one, two, three. I also have them in my shopping cart at Annabella's. <sighs> but May is a no spend May, remember? So starting yesterday, no spend May. And that's okay. I can do this. Things can wait until June. Things can wait until June. So. This is a regional quilt series, Field of Sunflowers. Now this one, this one looks intense. This one looks totally intense. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. I know I have lots of sunflower lovers out there, so this one might be coming up Friday for a giveaway. How's that sound? Yeah, Renee, sunflowers? Yes. 
I know you guys love sunflowers. Um, Patrick Woods Berry Patch. Look at how cute these little strawberries are. Oh, oh, and I can see through the backing. It has the pattern and I just did a tutorial on strawberries. You guys can do this. You guys can do strawberries. All right. Strawberries are fun. These are, these are quick stitches. I think some of them just have buttons on it. I don't know. Look at, look at how cute. Pull out your strawberries, start stitching them, use the tutorial. You'll love it. You'll have strawberries all over your dough bowls and your little baskets and your summer shelves and your tear trays. Ah, it'll be great. Start your sunflower or your strawberries. Coffee up. So, and then she sent the 2021 Christmas ornament collection from last year. And I know I do have this one and we worked a lot out of this one. So this is going to go into the Christmas in July basket for giveaways. We're going to do a lot of giveaways in July. And I have a lot of plans for July for uh, good Christmas ideas that we can take into our fall and be ready for the holidays. Okay. So <clears throat> this week's plans, get more stitching done because hubby will be gone a lot. Do some more organizing, get some cleaning done. I do have to work tomorrow and Wednesday and I am babysitting. Spring is here. I am babysitting back to babysitting. So in some of my videos, like my vlog style videos, you might see little toddler heads bouncing around. Um, life is real around here. We have washers and dryers going. We have toddlers running around. We have a dog and my mother-in-law is coming back this coming weekend, Mother's Day weekend. So um life is about to pick up here and it's going to get busy nice quiet serene videos are about to end <laughs> but that's all right that's all right it makes life interesting okay that's about all i have for you guys today a, a short video um if you love what you see and you love coming back for the variety of things that I have to offer on my channel, I try and post every day, but with the spring and summer coming, it may not happen every day, but I try and, and throw something at you every day, some fun content. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave me a comment. It helps the channel. The goal is for me to quit the day job, stay home, craft and sew and once the long arm gets here long arm with you and all that those fun things um so it really helps out the channel please be kind spread love and find peace